In this video, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the pH of a strong base by running through a simple and easy to understand worked example. So our question is, what is the pH of a two mole per dm cubed solution of calcium hydroxide? And I've picked calcium hydroxide specially for reasons that you will see in a second. So the first step is we're going to derive an equation that's going to massively speed up the process of calculating the pH of a strong base. So we'll start with the basic relationship that pOH is simply equal to the negative log to the base 10 of the hydroxide ion concentration, remembering that those square brackets simply mean concentration. The next thing we can say for water is that the pOH plus the pH is always equal to 14. We can rearrange this by subtracting pOH from both sides, and that gets us the expression that pH is 14 minus the pOH. We've already got an expression for pOH, which is here, so we can substitute. And so I've just replaced the pOH with our expression from the very top here. We can notice that this is a minus minus, so we change that to a plus. And we've now got a really nice and simple expression for pH that only requires us to substitute the hydroxide ion concentration. So naturally, the next step is to find the hydroxide ion concentration. We need the formula for calcium hydroxide, remembering that calcium is in group two and the hydroxide is one negative. If you swap that over, you end up with this formula. Now this is gonna dissociate and you're gonna get the Ca2 plus plus two O minus. So this is two hydroxide and this is where it's really important. We've got a one to two ratio. So every molecule of calcium hydroxide is producing two OH minus ions. So if we have two moles per dm cubed of calcium hydroxide, we're going to end up with four moles per dm cubed of the hydroxide ion. And remember, this is a strong base, so we're going to take it as fully dissociating into hydroxide ions. And so that's why we just multiply that by two. So we can say that the concentration of hydroxide ions is going to be four moles per dm cubed. Now we actually have everything we need to do the calculation. We just have to substitute into our equation and that's it. So this is just the hydroxide ion concentration. And when you evaluate that in the calculator, you get a pH of 14.6. And that is your final answer. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe the video so other people can discover this content. And finally, thank you very much for watching.